Welcome to Student Media News. Now we'll look at the headlines. MLA should not the only thing congressmen should I for will give ticket to imported candidates if CM and GPCC president have committed it. Tickets to family members of politicians if they are winnable, Raj tells Cruden in an exclusive interview. BJP to boycott Midnight Assembly on 18 December questions Bra's authority to declare it, says Congress using their celebration for their political gain. John Fernandez acquitted in Russian rape case unreliable statements by the victim and absence of firm evidence leads to acquittal. Congress slams Chogle management for closing the higher secondary section. Vijay Sardesai asks the government to take over the college. Srinivas Dempo completes one year as Goa Football Association president. Dempo satisfied with overall progress but feels that there is a long way more for GFA to achieve all its goals. And Praya United faced problems due to length of grass at Vatorda, says coach Sanjoy Sen. Sporting coach Akendra Singh felt luck was not with them in their drawn I-League match against Praya. And now the news in detail. Goa desk in charge of the Congress party, Jagmeet Singh Brar, has said that imported BJP MLAs will get ticket if CM or GPCC president have given a commitment to them. He has asked loyal congressmen not to focus only on MLA ship. He has also stated that the party will give ticket to a family member of any politician if he is a winning candidate. He was speaking exclusively with Prudence News Editor Pramod Acharya. He also clarified on the alliance issue. The alliance will continue. We have talked to NCP, MGP uh, leadership and they have given us some proposals. But ultimately those proposals are to be threadbare discussed within the party in Goa and then at the central headquarters in Delhi and I think this alliance will continue. However, he hinted that BJP MLAs who have joined Congress might get the party ticket and loyal congressmen will be accommodated in other positions. Some MLAs from the BJP have come into the party and some of the loyal congressmen who are working in those constituencies from years are threatened. If somebody from the BJP has come, we have not assured anybody a ticket. Let's be fair on it. But a person who at this juncture has left the BJP and uh, he has come and joined the Congress party, we will try to accommodate him but not, not putting a thumb on our candidate and not ignoring the interests of the Congress party. That is the priority brief by the party. Uh, so let's come very specifically, Mandare and Bicholi. There is uh, Patnagar has come, Sopte has come, there is Naresh Sawa and there are people like Babi Bakkar. Uh, how, how, what is the approach Congress is going to... Babi and Samal are both uh, very, very committed and dedicated congressmen, dedicated congressmen. So we will take into consideration, but one thing is very clear, that it is not only the MLA ship, you know, mm. which is there. there. There are so many positions in the party. Mm. So if at some given point of time, if, if uh, there is a chance that we have to uh, sacrifice in a manner where there is some commitment of the chief minister or the PCC president, then we will see that how our person is placed uh, and pitched at a position where Congress is not undermined. Brar also revealed that Keith and Keen of politicians who are winning candidates will be considered for ticket. 
he maintained that Congress will not allow any particular family to outrightly take control of the party. The Congress party ultimately will decide these tickets on merit and also give due consideration to a family member where he has a winning chances. But it is not that this is going to be just, uh, uh, just uh, an indication of any personalized family affair. Bureau report, Prudent Media. BJP has severely condemned the Midnight Assembly session proposed by the Congress on the eve of Golden Jubilee of Goa's liberation. Parikar has slammed the Congress desk in charge Jagmeet Singh Brar for declaring such a session. BJP has charged the Congress of using liberation celebration for its political gain. Parikar also made it clear that the party is ready for a pre-poll alliance with the MGP. On 18th December at 12 o'clock at night, we are planning a program of a special session. On Sunday, while addressing the media, Congress observer Jagmeet Singh Brar has made an announcement of Golden Jubilee Assembly session. The session is supposed to be held on 18 December midnight. Now, BJP has raised a strong objection and has questioned Brar's authority to declare such a session. BJP is not going to participate in any committee meetings or participate in this so-called midnight affair of Mr. Brar. Parikar has slammed Congress. He says Congress is trying to gain political mileage from Goa's Golden Jubilee Liberation Day celebration. Vidhan Sabha to insult us nae, auchitya bhanga, and it can be breach of privilege of the House also. Who is Mr. Brar to even consider calling the assembly session? Assembly session apopa to adhikar Mukhya Mantri ani sturud jale speaker ag. Even speaker does not have dire so much of powers. To call for the assembly session, Chief Minister through Governor and an order signed by Governor through Speaker calls for the assembly. Who is Brar to call for a special session on the midnight of 18th? While replying to media's question, Parikar made it clear that the party is ready for a pre-poll alliance with MGP. A reporter from Panji Basri Desai. Madgaon Additional Sessions Court has acquitted accused John Fernandez in the Russian girl rape case. The court has pronounced acquittal following failure of the prosecution to prove the charges against John and unreliable statements by the victim during interrogation. John in his defence had contended that the rape case was a plot to finish his political career. Madgaon Additional Sessions Court acquitted John Fernandez in Russian girl rape case on Monday. This incident occurred on night of 1st December 2009. Thereafter, he was absconding and later he surrendered himself before crime branch on 6th January 2010. Now he is acquitted of all the charges. John's counsel, Advocate Shashank Samant, reacted on John's acquittal. Our reaction is that justice, uh, the party got the justice. We have fought for the justice all through. And we have opinion that he was, we were thinking he is innocent. That's all. He was falsely implicated. Young boy, entrepreneur, because of some outside spirit, he was involved in this matter. Is it because of some political uh, revenge they wanted to take? We do not know. There are certain inklings that, uh, well, outside things work in this. Public prosecutor Subhash Desai spoke on the grounds of acquittal. The court held that no corroborative evidence was put forth by the prosecution. Prosecution miserably failed to prove the guilt because the evidence of this victim lady was shaken in the cross-examination. She was subjected to lengthy cross-examination and her evidence was shaken. The defense case was that accused had taken the stand before the Honorable Additional Session Court in this case that he was falsely implicated at the instance of present sitting MLA of Banavli constituency who H a conspiracy with one Mindrawe Anta to put this accused in trouble and to finish him politically who was defeated by 352 votes in the last assembly election. Our reporter from Madgao, Samir Bhatt. General Secretary of State Congress and ex-student of Chogle College Vijay Sardesai has criticized Chogle College management for their decision to close down the higher secondary section. Vijay Sardesai has said that the state government should take over the institution if the management is unable to run it. Sardesai has already spoken to the CM and the Education Minister. If higher secondary 
section of Chogulia College closes down. Then the students from Futhorda <coughs> will have to go to Kepeng to uh, study. I myself uh, was an ex-student of the higher secondary of Chogulia College. And I condemn this attitude of the management. And if they cannot run the educational institute, it is my demand that the state government should take over the college and run it themselves. I have demanded the education minister and the chief minister that if the Chokhle management is unable to run the institute, it should be taken over and run by the government. Our reporter Jason Suarez with video journalist Prasad Harmalkar. It's time now for a short break. Stay tuned.